We're really working our way through Sporkle today. Which of these albums is the best-selling album of all time at 47 million copies worldwide? I'm going to say that's Thriller. Who recorded What's Going On? Uh, Marvin Gaye. Genesis was Peter Gabriel and Phil Collins. George Harrison wrote While My Guitar Gently Weeps. Most weeks on the Billboard 200 at approximately 15 years. I'm going to say that's uh, Dark Side of the Moon. Magic Flute is by Mozart. Jesus of Suburbia and City of the Damned is by Green Day. Who is this? I was for a second, I was like, that's Green Day. That's Muse? Like, you are you. You are you. And you're, that's actually Corey, but you're kind of like him. It's like they replaced the drummer. Who sold the second most albums in American history behind the Beatles? I'm going to say that's Garth Brooks. While the, the king was looking down, the jester stole his diamond crown. The jester stole his Here's Johnny crown. The jest, shining crown. The jester stole his thorny crown. The jester stole his golden crown. I have no idea. Well, the king, what is this, Getty Lee? Well, the king was looking down. The jester stole his shining crown. No, okay. Which of these artists became the first to have a music video reach 1 billion views on YouTube? That would be size Gangnam Style. <laughs> Which of these artists sang Scaramouche, Bismillah, and Beelzebub? That would be Queen. Which of these artists' first three solo albums all contain numbers as their titles? Adele. All I know is she has 21, and then I don't know the other ones. I was <laughs> just making a guess, really. Okay, who got nominated for a Pulitzer for Damn? That would be Kendrick Lamar. Which of these albums is by Metallica? That would be um, Metallica's and Justice for All. Which of these singers won a Nobel Prize? It's Bob Dylan. Which female artist was the first to have five number one songs from the same album? <sighs> So Lady Gaga, you know, that first album, you got Just Dance, you got um, Bad Romance, you got Poker Face, you got Telephone, you got Alejandro or something like that. Like, that feels possible to me. Madonna and Janet Jackson feel possible to me just because they're before my time, and I know that they're very popular. Katy Perry had, I don't know if they're all on the same album. She has some Teenage Dream, California Girls, Roar, Firework, Dark Horse. You know what? You sold me. You sold me on that one. If I can think of five that easily, there's probably like nine that might qualify. Which of these images is from Bad Blood? This, this is blank space. I remember we had this in a quiz earlier. I'm going to say is this. She looks like she's got bad blood there. Like, I mean, hey, hey, Swifties, I meant the blood in her veins looks fine. I just mean, like, she's, she's on, like, a revenge tour or something. I'm not saying anything about her, her blood being bad, okay? Like, it's in low quality. I'm sure she's got high-quality blood. 94 versus 59? Oh, oh, oh. 12 images for every subcategory. Religion. Which of these does not represent the name of a book in the Bible? The book of Paul? I was like the book of Let It Be. Book of Numbers is one. Book of Luke? Bo book of Baseball. What? Which of these popes reigned for 25 years? Let me get John Paul II. Which of these is Martin Luther? That's this guy right here. Which of these churches is the Sagrada Familia? That's this one. Which of these images is the Kaaba, the structure towards which Muslims are expected to pray? That's this one. Which of these actors is portraying Moses? It's Charlton Heston. 
Which of these images does not represent one of the dominions of Apollo? <laughs> Medicine? <laughs> Pills? <laughs> Which of these animals completes the name of the hymn? His eye is on the... His eye is on the... His... Okay. I'm going to guess it's not his eye is on the chameleon. His eye is on the lion. No, it's a bird. My mistake. The book of Jonah. This motherfucker is getting eaten by a whale. Which of these, okay, this is the Lord is my shepherd. I, I know that one at least. The third most practiced religion after Christianity and Islam. I'm going to say that it's this one. It's like, bad guess. 64, we tied the average. You're telling me it's not Taoism? What religion is this? I'm not good with flags, man. I'm not good with flags. <laughs> you already knew that about me. Do a flag quiz? They always want me to do a flag quiz, man. I, I can't, I don't know flags very well. I know capitals more than I know flags, that's for sure. But even then, Everybody that ever learns anything about trivia memorizes like all the capitals, so I feel like a damn fool whenever I do them. Okay, Quiz Lab, popular today. I'm looking. I'm looking. It's a lot of a lot of cricket based quizzes. Find the here you go. Here's one that'll alienate people. Find the provinces of Canada with no outlines, okay? This one's for my, my Canadian viewers, myself included. It should be easier than the American one, but the Maritimes are a little scuffed. And also, they're hard to place on the map. <clears throat> Alberta. So BC is like... Then Alberta is like... I'm going to try that one again. Prince Edward Island. <laughs> You're Newfoundland, okay? And then it's like, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, PEI? <laughs> replay, replay, I'm going to replay this one real quick. <clears throat> Nova Scotia, nailed it. Nunavut, come on. Yukon. <clears throat> replay me i always get those two give me an easy one man british columbia thank you the yukon come on prince edward Island. this this little one right here nova scotia new brunswick northwest territories nunavut see now we got a chain we can follow the chain saskatchewan newfoundland and labrador quebec Manitoba. Uh, that's the easiest quiz of all time, man. This quiz is so easy. Find the provinces of Canada ultimate minefield. Wait, that's the same quiz. Okay, never mind. First try. Oh, man. That's a, t that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Do the states again? I mean, I could do it and see if I remember it. It's got to be like the most. No, because I no, I was going to, but then I was like, I hate the Northeast. And also they're hard to place on a map. <laughs> I'm just joking. They are hard to place on a map. I don't hate the, the Northeast necessarily. See, I'm more like this, man. I'm more like this. 2003 Oscar nominees. Uh, but it's got to be a picture quiz. I love food quizzes too, man. Food quizzes have been have been popping off in my enjoyment of them. Food. Oh my god, I've done so many of these. Foods that are orange. Foods that are pink. 
Food typing challenge. Foods that are yellow. Food sorting gallery. Food sorting gallery? Hold on, I'm just, I'm just looking. No, 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 I don't like those. I want to search. It must Categories, food, types, picture box, picture click, and clickable. Those are the best. Slideshow, also great. Maybe, what about only slideshow? Foods by tattoo. Can you name the item of food in each of these tattoos? Okay, that's just a tattoo of pizza. We can, we can do better than that. How, this is only tangentially related, okay? Can you name the TV show based on a scene involving a Chinese restaurant or Chinese food? This would be Seinfeld. This is Mad Men. This would be The Simpsons. Uh, SpongeBob, I know I've never seen SpongeBob SquarePants, but this would be Sanford and Sons. Oh, you didn't get that one, chat? This is The Office, US. This is, this is The League. I had to run it through my IMDb. This is The Big Bang Theory. I could not tell you. This is that 90s show. I could not tell you what that is. This is New Girl. I'd recognize those bangs anywhere. This is Gilmore Girls. This is the, um, the Goldbergs. I only know it because of the, when they digitally removed Jeff Garland after he got canceled and they replaced him with like a, the Grand Moff Tarkin CGI. And he looks like, well, he looks like he's computer generated. I don't know what this is, but based on the look of it, I'm going to say that this is Pretty Little Liars. I'm insane. This is Desperate Housewives. This is... I couldn't... I can't tell you what this is, honestly. I don't know what this is. This is How I Met Your Mother, also known as Himyum. This is Curb Your Enthusiasm. South Park, I don't want to talk about it. Just get me out of here. This is 90210. I don't know what this... Nobody knows what this show is. That's the one out, man! What the... They fired Charlie Sheen after all that fucked up stuff that he did and then they just hired the cast of that 70s show? Fresh off the boat. It's a sequel to Desperate Housewives, right? You should try, literally this quiz, this is fortuitous. Someone in chat said, quick pick of the states with the most pizza places per capita. And then literally right next to the quiz that I just did was like, quiz with the most or states with the most pizza places per capita so it's like you mentioned it and then i saw it in the world that's what i had it on my vision board this morning most most pizza places per capita u.s states well my first thought would be well we have to go fast small states like not that many people like delaware that's got it because it's basically just a city I would say New York has a, no chance. Okay, I would have thought. I'm going to say they're mostly going to be Midwest and Southwest. Let me get a Utah. Let me get a New Mexico. Let me get a Louisiana. Um, let me get a um, Michigan. Let me get a New Hampshire, a Connecticut. Let me get an Illinois, and let me get a Georgia. All right, well, I'm pure ass. California, Hawaii. Texas, Connecticut, Delaware. Oh, no, no, no. Connecticut, Delaware, Nevada, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, New Jersey, West Virginia, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts. That was a massacre. But look at this. Find that celebrity pizza face. <laughs> what is this? Queen Elizabeth II. I'd recognize her anywhere. There she is. This is too... 
Easy, honestly. And these are not real pizzas. This is like screen printed. Andy Warhol. Madonna. Pope Francis the first. If there's more than one Pope, I'm going to lose my mind. Hey, yo, yeah. Yo, uh, can I get a Jay-Z pizza? <laughs> can I get like a cheese pizza, but you spread the cheese in such a way that after it cooks, it looks like a perfect facsimile of Jay-Z's face? I'm done with this. It's too easy. That's the only reason I'm done with this, okay? Holidays by pizza, TV show by pizza scene, old school recipe cards. How about that? Oh, shit. This is perfect. Oh, dude, this is actually perfect. It's America's version of the British food quiz. Like, what the hell is this? Ham and bananas hollandaise. <laughs> okay, that's, that would be ham and bananas hollandaise, I think, right here. Fish balls. That's these. The crown roast of Frankfurters. Sounds like a Dark Souls boss. I believe this would be a crown roast of Frankfurters. Cheeseburger pie. Cheeseburger pie. You kind of look like you could be a cheeseburger pie. Gooseberry flan. I can do this. I can do this. Everything in my life has trained me for this moment. Gooseberry flan. I'm going to pass just for a minute, okay? We'll, we'll get it when there's less options. Florentine ring. I'm going to pass. Deep fried frog's legs with tartar sauce. That would be you. Did they have to serve it still attached to the frog's ass? They don't. I've had frog's legs before. What the hell is this? They, they put that ass on there just to show off. Sardine-filled pastry roll. Tuna and pear pizza? This is what they took from us. We used to be a country, a proper country. Tuna and pear pizza? Nothing here looks like pizza, for the record. Unless I'm just... Maybe, no, that's like beef tartare. Tuna and pear pizza? I'm passing for a second. Tuna cheese macaroni loaf. I see a loaf. There must be another loaf. Tuna cheese macaroni loaf. We got to go a little faster. Turkey loaf in aspic. I believe aspic is like a tomato something. You kind of look like maybe there's maybe that's turkey. Pressed, bris pressed brisket. Pressed brisket of beef. Pressed brisket. I think we can still do this. Fluffy mackerel pudding. Waikiki meatballs. Right here. Pimento puree. Maybe? And that looks like a puree to me. Crusty salmon shortcakes. Crusty salmon short. I got to be honest. That sounds pretty good. Crusty salmon shortcakes. I don't see them here. I'm going to have to pass. Jellied lamb salad. Oh, you look jellied. Oh. Gazpacho salad mold. Deviled salmon. You could see that being salmon, right? Deviled. Like a deviled egg? Nope. Where is that? Uh, oh, it's with the eggs. Velvet cheese soup. This should be easy. Velvet cheese soup. Steak tartare. Lime and melon salad mold. You look like a lime. You don't really look like a mold, though. Lime and melon salad mold. Lime? No, there's fucking radishes on this. Come on. It's got to be you. Oh, 
it was that okay that's easy enough milk ch milk chicken milk chicken this is chicken chicken and banana chicken and banana milk chicken frozen fruit salad piquant herring salad piquant it's a little piquant frozen cheese salad liver pate en mask <laughs> nope that would be this prawn and grape cocktail oh my god what the hell is this it's like shrimp grapes it's like a like a horrible ceviche gooseberry flan it's you oh the florentine ring doesn't that seem like I, it's got to be you but the Florentine ring sounds like an Italian torture device from the Renaissance era. You've been found guilty of being a witch. Now you must bear the Florentine ring. Ah, oh, it's actually this one. Never mind. Are you tuna and pear pizza? Where's the tuna? Where's the pear? That is actually anchovies and like the cap of a truffle or something like that. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's on the inside. I shouldn't have asked. Tuna cheese macaroni loaf? Okay. Turkey loaf in aspic. Oh, sorry. That's that. Pressed brisket of beef. Pr what is this? I, 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 sort, I don't understand. Pressed biscuit. Pressed brisket. Pressed brisket? What is, what is this? Fluffy mackerel pudding. The remaining pictures look AI generated. Like, are you mackerel pudding? No. Where, where's fluffy? Oh, that's, of course, mackerel pudding. Why does it have bubble tea next to it, predating the uh, existence of bubble tea in America? Crusty salmon shortcakes? Piquant herring salad. I don't even know what this is. This actually looks like, a, like you broke a glass bottle of salad dressing into a bowl. Frozen cheese salad. We got 71 out of an average score of 53. By the way, there's more. Old school recipe cards too. Emerald cantaloupe. <laughs> what the fuck is this, dude? <laughs> Can you imagine? This is the 1950s. You spend uh, all day making this shit while your husband pretends to work, but actually he's just smoking cigarettes at the office all day. You come home and serve him this weird fish. What the hell is this? Anyway, I'm assuming this is emerald cantaloupe. Sardine egg canapes. These look like canapes to me. Tomato jelly ribbon loaf. It's got to be this, right? Short ribs with noodles. Yes, I'll have one of those, please. I'll take the short ribs with noodles, please, for the love of God. I'll take the short ribs with the noodles. Uh, no, you no, that's okay. You can keep the tomato jelly ribbon loaf. I don't want it. Let me just get the short ribs with noodles. Why can't I find them? You kind of look like short ribs. Those don't really look like... Oh, you know what? That's pasta noodles. Okay. Chicken and pea souffle. Bro. It, oh, it's, it actually is this. But what the hell is that? Seafood mousse. Um, I mean, I thought you were a dessert, but I suppose you could be seafood. I'm sure seafood kind of looks like that when it's moose. No. Oh, whoa, it's a fish. Tropical hamburger. You want to come over for dinner? Mom's making tropical hamburgers. This kind of, I don't know, tropical hamburger? Am I missing something? I got a pass, man. I got a pass. <laughs> sour broaden meatballs. Okay, some relatively normal food. This could be sour broaden for all I know. Rhubarb whip. Nope, rhubarb whip is this. That's probably good. Beef tongue and raisin sauce. You're going to laugh. As this sounds horrendous <laughs> in a number of different ways. Beef tongue is pretty tasty, though. 
I like beef tongue. I'd rather have beef tongue over a chocolate or a cottage cheese ring with vegetable salad medley. So I would say my rule is we're going to start by looking for the cottage cheese ring. And then around it, there should be a vegetable salad medley. Creamed eggs on fried noodles. That would be this. Pineapple cucumber salad. I'm going to simmer on that one. I'm sure we can find it. Cottage cheese meatloaf. There's so many loaf-based foods. It's kind of hard to pick, man. I mean, like, this is meatloaf. Is that? Yeah, that's probably cottage cheese. Okay. Chili corn on English muffins. Brown rice and fruit ring. But why? I mean, it's got to be this, but, like... You got brown rice? Why, why make it into like a weird circle with strawberries inside of it? It's just weird. Banana sea foam. By the way, anytime someone that's like 90 years old tells you how hard it was when they were a young adult, oh, the kids these days are going to Starbucks instead of, you had like seven hours a day to cook this shit, to take perfectly good ingredients and turn it into... Some kind of, um, what's the name of that guy who paints all the famous American paintings, you know, uh, uh, Norman Rockwell? You had time to take all this fresh food and turn it into a Norman Rockwell nightmare. It's not Ben Garrison, okay? Banana sea foam. Banana sea foam. I couldn't even possibly begin to tell you what that means. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Chopped chicken liver pate. Okay, I, I roughly understand what pate is. Could this be chopped chicken liver pate? Nope. It's the one that looks like a Thanksgiving cake you'd buy from the grocery store. Cabbage rolls in golden sauce. I believe it's you. Frankfurters and corn casserole. Delicious. Always with the aspic, man. Lamb aspic? I'm passing for a second. Fish sticks with pineapple? Are you fish sticks with pineapple? Yes. Scalloped potatoes and tongue casserole. Okay. I believe that's you. Ham a la king. Ham a la king. It's you. Allah means it's French for we put sauce on it. Ooh, beef liver in sour cream. Mm, that sounds good. Beef liver in sour cream. I'm going to pass for a second. Which one of these fuckers is a tropical hamburger? If it's you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die. Tropical, I've only got a minute left. Tropical hamburger? Cherry is not a tropical fruit. Let's X that. I don't buy it. I, you must be tropical hamburger. What? What is this? Pineapple cucumber salad. I see none of those ingredients in the remaining four pictures. I... It doesn't make any sense to me. Banana sea foam. Okay, now I get it. Lamb aspic, beef liver and sour cream. We got 84. I don't know how I figured this out. <laughs> Tropical hamburger is kind of pissing me off. Like, what is this? <laughs> what? Is this? You know, there were ever times that you were served food in like, because people in the 50s, they're kind of like, I mean, they're us, you know, just different culture. But, like, the same scaffolding. Surely there had to be, like, some normies who sat down and they were like, oh, for dinner tonight we're having tropical hamburger. And then a, a half of a baguette with some cherries on top of it comes out. And you got, like... Was there, like, an underground society of people who would get together and talk shit about 50s food in the 50s? Were they like, what the fuck are they making? Tropical hamburger? Tropical hamburger? 
it appears to be neither tropical nor a hamburger, nor <laughs> edible in any sense of the word. It's the pi that's pineapple. It doesn't look like pineapple to me. It looks like an unripened mango. I guess that could be pineapple, or that could be tropical too. A little mango. And the cherry with the stem still on is just like disrespectful. Okay, let's see. Anything else? The sweetest fruit. Sweet veggies. Non-fat free fruits and veggies. Fibrous fruits. Watery fruits. Vintage TV dinners. This could be disgusting. Before I get started, though, I do want to say I ate some TV dinners growing up. Something about the TV dinner mashed potatoes. Like, it, it speaks to me. I, I don't know if it's because they're like the powdered ones or something like that, but the, the mashed potatoes in a TV dinner taste good to me. Fish and chips entree, fried fish, and french fries. That would be this. The thought of an adult man coming home from working in, like, the U.S. defense industry and making this for himself while he watches some fucking horrible TV show that, with a laugh track and just doing that for, like, 30 years every day until he dies makes me want to crawl in a hole and die myself, quite frankly. <laughs> macaroni and cheese dinner. Macaroni and cheese with glazed carrots and peas. Maybe he's happy, by the way. Maybe he's happy. Oh, is there a microwave in there? No, they put this in the oven. Okay. Beans and Frank's dinner. Baked beans, Frank's, apple slices, and chocolate cake. Mmm, that looks good. Can you believe that this is the food that America used to win the Cold War? It's, it's staggering. Meatloaf dinner. Meatloaf and tomato sauce. Green beans. Hashed brown potato nuggets. Chocolate brownie. I, I, I don't see, I'm passing for a second. Is, I'm passing for a second. Turkey dinner. Turkey, mashed potatoes, peas, and dressing. Turkey, turkey, where's the dressing? Oh, wait, 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 that, oh, where's the dressing? Oh, maybe it's under. A Polynesian style dinner. Sweet and sour chicken and pork, vegetable chow mein, roasted rice and sauce, and an orange tea cake. Mmm, Polynesian style. Oh, a little exotic tonight, Master Wayne. Alfred, I'm feeling exotic. Can you get me the Polynesian style banquet TV dinner from Swanson's? Very good, sir. Okay, this is sliced ham. Salisbury steak, a broiled Salisbury steak. That's you. Fried chicken dinner. That's you. Oh, German style dinner. Sliced beef with sour broden. Red cabbage and applesauce cake. None of these have red cab. Do you have red cabbage? Veal parmesan dinner. Oh, veal parmigiano, of course. A breaded veal patty with beef added. Hmm, that would be you. Sliced beef dinner. That would be you. Meatloaf dinner. That's <laughs> so red, dude. We got 80. We lost to the average on this one. That hurts. <laughs> Veal breaded cutlet beef added. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to. I'm just trying to think about it. A veal breaded cutlet beef added. Where was the beef added? Like at the end or at this in somewhere in the mixing process? Beef added. Oh, dude. No, no, no. We don't need to do that. Come on. We, just give me quick pick where in the world is Arby's. Quick pick the Larry David sandwich. Come on. Here's a Larry David sandwich. It's got white fish. It's got capers, cream cheese, um, red onions, and sliced pickles. Fuck. Still, 80%. Come on. Sable? 
I thought Sable was the whitefish. That's my bad. Food game matchup. No, not doing that. Famous person by cookie jar. All right, I could do this. Uh, the first one would be Michael Jackson. Um, believe the third one there is Lee Majors. <laughs> Never mind. Is Steve Austin the $6 million man? Oh, there's Stone Cold Steve Austin down there. <laughs> um, okay, one second. Um, there's Marilyn Monroe. There's Martin Luther King. There's Jackie Onassis. Hold, there's Jackie Kennedy. There's Queen Elizabeth II. There's, uh, that's Hardy. Is that Ruth Bay? There's Dr. Ruth down here? Oh, Babe Ruth. Is that Ruth Bader Ginsburg? I see Betsy Ross. I see Mr. T. I see Gene Simmons. I see James Dean. Elvis. Michael Jordan. Ben Franklin. Are you Charo? <laughs> okay, I give up. Carmen Miranda, Rosa Parks. That would have been a good one to get. Harpo Marx. This is not a real person. This is not based on an image of, a, of an actual human being. This is based on a, a picture of a clown from an Are You Afraid of the Dark episode. How'd you miss John Wayne? I didn't recognize him without his, his left eye. These are all a little cursed, though. The Steve Austin's pretty good. More fictional characters by Cookie Jar. Okay, here we go. Um, wait. Fictional characters. Okay, those are not... <laughs> These are not real people. That's Aragorn. That's Stan from South Park. That's Cinderella. That's Mike Wazowski. Speed Racer. That's Cruella DeVille. This is too easy. Fozzie Bear. That's The Flash. That's Babar. <laughs> Strawberry Shortcake. Okay, I don't know why that exists in my head. Beetle Bailey. Wow, I am actually a boomer. I'm officially a boomer. That's the Pink Panther. Just kidding. That's the cat from Alice in Wonderland. That's the Mad Hatter. I have no idea who this is. That's Eeyore. Oh my god. What is this tall ET? Oh, he's not tall. Oh. Oh. How to protect your cookies from being stolen by your child. That's ET, the extraterrestrial. That's Tinkerbell. Let's get off that one real quick. That, that would be Thor. That's Slappy. That's Slappy, dude, from the Goosebumps TV show. That's Olive Oil from Popeye. That's Rosie the Robot. That's Rocky. Paddington. Let's go! Little Red Riding Hood. Who would buy this and display it in their home? Oogie Boogie. That's Gumby. Gumpy. All right, I give up. Snagglepuss? Howdy Doody? Fifties were crazy, man. That's all I have to say. Fictional character by Cookie Jar. 
as Wonder Woman, as Captain James Kirk. Kirk, sorry. That would be the Cowardly Lion. I'm going to remember your name. You're like Marmaduke or something, but I forgot. That's the Bride of Frankenstein. The, also known as the Bridge of Frankenstein. Little known sequel to the Bride of Frankenstein. That would be Slimer. It's Catherine Hepburn. <laughs> I don't know who you are. Let's just be honest. But I do know in the 50s, before Playboy magazine existed... Dudes were definitely beaten off to this cookie jar, for sure. That'll be Marvin the Martian. That's um, Jessica Rabbit. That's Dennis the Menace. That's Gandalf. Things in your house that you only buy if you don't live in an active earthquake zone. Because that shit would claim like four lives if it fell off of a shelf. This is Raggedy Ann. Captain America. The Fonz. People were definitely beaten off to this one, too. That would be Lucy from Peanuts. That's the Grinch. Sanest cookie jar in the whole list. That's Ursula from The Little Mermaid. That would be Batman. How do you even fit a cookie in that? That's Bart Simpson eating a cookie. That's the Queen of Hearts. Is Alf is also hilarious. Is it true that Alf officiated Donald Trump's second wedding, by the way? Can I get... <laughs> wait, did I get uh, fake news? Maybe he didn't officiate. Was he at the... He, he attended the, the ceremony, though? But he dipped before the reception? Okay, Alf. That's Princess Leia. It's actually, like, horrifying. That's a self-portrait. Uh, that's Humpty Dumpty. That's Woody Woodpecker. That's the Cookie Monster. Also a sane cookie jar. Is a sad dog. I know, I know. Huckleberry Hound! Oh my darling, oh my darling. Scarlet O'Hara? I thought it was fictional characters. Brand by Cookie Jar. No, I'm not doing that. Hail corporate. Best and worst U.S. metro areas for restaurant variety based on the ratio of ethnic restaurants to fast food places, metro areas of 400,000 plus population. Okay. Least restaurant variety, Minneapolis, St. Paul. You're lucky. Okay, most restaurant variety, New York City. Pacific Time, LA. Los Angeles. Pacific Time. Seattle. Pacific Time. Portland. Pacific Time. <laughs> San, uh, San Francisco. Hawaiian Time. Honolulu. Pacific Time. It never ends, man. San Diego. Pacific, okay, Eastern Time. Miami. What? Okay, let's start going least restaurant variety. Let's start insulting some places. Um, I'm going to say Detroit. I'm going to say Chicago. Okay, I'm going to say St. Louis. I'm going to say Omaha, Nebraska. I'm going to say... Give me a second here. We're going we're gonna to get this. Texas? That was a, that's not a city. Um, we're going to say... We're not going to say Texas. We're going to say Central Time, Oklahoma City. We're going to say Phoenix. All my dunks are failing. We're going to say Atlanta. I give up. Dayton, Ohio! Can I tell you? I got very excited too. 
I thought that this said Bellingham and I was about to go off. I was about to be like, I knew it, I knew it. It really is like, it's just Ohio. What the hell, I live in Bellingham? Okay, stop talking shit about Canadian drivers uh, supporting your city by giving it tourism. Oh no, they bought all the milk out of the grocery store. Okay, is America having a milk shortage? I don't think so. Why don't you just buy, have your purchasing manager buy some more fucking milk? Oh no, people, people purchased everything at the store and brought prosperity to the business owner. Just get over it. Bellingham loves you? Okay, Bellingham stay, stays winning. Food museum by three exhibits? Hold on. Hold on. I should not have clicked so flippantly. Oh, I thought there would be pictures. Never mind. Come on. Movie by Chinese food scene? Oh, we're, we've looped basically back around. No pictures, I leave. I went to school in Bellingham. How was, um, how was Western Washington University? I'm not going to ask you about their uh, football team because I've recently been told that they don't have one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just looking, what, what time is it? It's 11.14. All right, we've been playing for a while. We could probably slash marker that. Slash marker me. Mm, sporkle. 